So I wanted to answer the question, how much sun do we actually need to get our vitamin D, our daily dosage? It really depends on how much of your um, body is exposed to the sun and where you live. Okay, so let's just take San Diego, for example, uh, and also your age. If you're younger, you absorb a lot more vitamin D. If you're older, you're a factor of three times more. So you need three times as much sun. Um, so if you're in San Diego and you're young, and you just your hands and your face are exposed to the uh, sun, you have to spend 42 minutes in the sun to get the vitamin D that you need per day, the RDAs. And that's just the bare bones, right? We're not talking about the stuff to maintain or even try to reverse some type of illness. We're just talking just to prevent rickets, for example. All right, so the next one, you have short sleeves and then on your face and your hands, 26% of your body, 19 minutes. Okay, so 19 minutes. Shorts and t-shirt, 46% of your body exposed, 11 minutes, not bad, right? No shirt and just shorts, 72% of your body is exposed to the sun, seven minutes, boom, you got your dose, right? But if you're in Seattle, okay, in the north, uh, and you're young, you need 168 minutes if just your face and your hands are exposed. If you're older in Seattle, 504 minutes to get your daily dosage of vitamin D. That's a lot of time out in the sun. Okay, if you're in Seattle and you're younger, um, short sleeves in your face, in your hands, 76 minutes. Okay, a little more than an hour. And if you're older, 228 minutes. It's a long time. Now you're in a shorts and a t-shirt, 44 minutes, okay, versus 132 minutes. No shirt, shorts, 28 minutes, and then 84 minutes. The reason why I'm showing you this chart is to get you to think with these variables. It's not just about the sun. It's about where you're living versus in the world, certain latitudes, uh, your age. The, you know, if your skin is lighter or darker, you're going to need more sun if you have a darker skin. Um, the health of your liver, for example, is important. So there's a lot of variables to this vitamin D. And vitamin D is so important, especially as you get older, especially if you're really young, especially if you're sick uh, for viruses, for the flu, uh, to prevent autoimmune problems. So you may want to consider taking vitamin D, especially nowadays since people are just inside so, so much. They just don't get enough sun. All right. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, Go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.